Hey guys, Walker here from Cheeky Fishing. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at how to change the retrieve on your new limitless reel. Um, one thing to note is all Cheeky reels do come preset as left-hand retrieve reels. So what that means is it just comes preset for somebody to reel in or retrieve with their left hand. Uh, so what we're gonna be doing in this video is we're gonna change it over to right-hand retrieve, which is just for somebody that wants to retrieve in with their right hand. So first step we're gonna take is we're going to remove the spool from the frame, just using the spool cap here, untwisting that, and that'll release the spool from the frame. Now in the Limitless Reel Series, the retrieve change is gonna take place entirely in the frame of this reel. So we're gonna take our spool and we're actually just gonna set this guy aside for right now. Next, we've got this little rubber gasket that's on top of the drag cone. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, I just have a little dentist pick here, um, pair of tweezers, something small and sharp will do uh, just fine. And I'm gonna dig up under here and just dislodge that little rubber gasket and set it aside for now. Now, um, now you should be looking at a little screw that's on the underside of the rubber gasket. And I'm just gonna take my flathead screwdriver here and remove that screw. Just like so. And that is gonna release the drag cone. So once you have the drag cone removed, you can just set that aside and you'll see that you have a roller bearing and then underneath the roller bearing, you're gonna see a one-way bearing. Now we're just gonna remove the roller bearing and set that aside for now. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the one-way bearing and remove that from the spindle and all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna turn it over and just place it right back down on the spindle. From there, we're gonna just put the uh, roller bearing back on top. Doesn't matter which way, could go either way. We're just gonna set that back on top of the one-way bearing. Take our drag cone, place that back where it belongs. Pop our screw back in there. Tighten that down. And you want to go until you have a little bit of resistance like that and then just give it another quarter turn or so. Once you've done that, you can replace the rubber gasket. And last but not least, you can reattach your spool and the frame using the screw cap there. 